Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at the cart assembler from Steve's Carts 2. Uh, now this is a pretty good uh, little machine. This is basically where you apply uh, modules and engines to the v various um, hulls that you can get for Steve's Carts. So if we open up the the interface, you can see it is absolutely huge. Um, and if we go over it very quickly, on the left hand side here we have the input slot for your hull. Um, there's three different hulls here you can use, the wooden, standard, all the reinforced. I believe there was also a pumpkin hull. Um, for Halloween so you may also have that one kicking around still um, then we have engine slots underneath uh, depending on what size a hold you use will depend on how many engine slots tool slots attachment storage and add-on slots you will get so um, as you can see this wooden hull has a maximum engine count of one and the standard hull can have three engines and the reinforced can have five and also a different amount of add-ons so this wooden hull will just take an engine uh, it won't take any add-ons we can add storage to it and some attachments tools but no add-ons and as you can see when you put the the hull in there you get this uh, little animated uh, and you can drag this around. It's basically a visual visual representation of your uh, of your hull. And you see that will update depending on what kind of hull you put in there. And as as you can see with this one, we've got three engines. We've also got some add-on slots open up as well. And the reinforced one again looks a little bit different. And you get all your add-on slots open up and all the engines. Um, so that's the left hand side there. Uh, this middle part here, there, once you start adding things in you'll be able to interact with this and uh, see how it looks like under certain conditions. Um, you On this, the right hand side down here, you have to add fuel. So at the moment this is basically setting the assembler's idle and it's got no fuel. You basically you put your fuel in there, which uh, we will use coal for. I think you can use coal and charcoal. Coke coal will not work. Uh, I'm not sure whether uh, there's any uh, compatibility planned for that uh, with as, as much as Railcraft goes, but at the moment there's it's not working. So the recipe for the the cart assembler is you've got four stone like that with three iron ingots on the top half and then two PCBs, two simple PCBs on the bottom and the simple PCBs are made like this so you've got four redstone, four iron with a gold in the middle and this recipe will work either way so you can put the iron in the corners as well and it will still work. So you're going to use quite a bit of uh, material to make this uh, as, as far as crafting stations go anyway so if we uh, start by adding some let's use this reinforced tile we'll start adding some different attachments and engines to it so we can see what it looks like uh, so if we pick an engine first now we can add more than one engine as you can see we've got solar and coal uh, and you also got a tiny coal engine and a basic solar engine as well and these I think are mainly to just power the attachments and add-ons because uh, some of these carts have or some of the modules that you can use require power themselves but you may not actually want that cart to, to move itself uh, if we just add on couple of engines here um, we'll put the coal engine in and we should be able to see on here 
now we've got a little firebox showing up and if we add the solar engine on you can see on the top there we've now got a solar panel and if we right click this um, if we say yes okay there's enough light what will happen is you'll see exactly the animation that the car is going to make when it's uh, got enough light and the solar panel is going to pop up so you can see exactly what your car is going to look like so if we turn the light off we'll see the solar panels retract and it says here look, on the right hand side now that we've now ready to assemble the car the hull has got this will basically tell you how many add-ons you can add into your hull. Um, the complexity cap there uh, refers to the add-ons and attachments. So if we have a look at... These are the various attachments. And when you mouse over the attachments, you can see there's a modular cost attached. If that cost is too high... Uh, you won't be able to install it on the hull. Um, we're using a reinforced hull so we can actually add any of these and it should work. Now also one thing to bear in mind with these attachments is that they can go on on various sides so we may you may find that um, what happens is you can't actually uh, add one of these modules on because there's no space for it so that's something to, to bear in mind as well so here we have an attachment a shooter attachment now as you can see that goes in the top and it's saying the solar engine and the advanced shooter will clash so we have to take out the solar engine if we want to have the shooter on And there, that's going to take uh, what's that, 24 minutes to craft at the moment. So it's quite a a long process to make some of these some of these cars. Um, it's certainly not something that's that you're going to want to be able to just fire and forget with. So there, we've got the cleaning machine at the front. Now that does go in the middle as well but it's not interfering with the advanced shooter so that way you can have a cart that will kill mobs that get close and also clean up the drops which is quite cool um, don't know where the fertilizer's gone but as you can see you can uh, you can actually uh, do various different things and there's loads of different attachments and add-ons so let's, we have a look at the add-ons um, you can see you've got smelters um, entity detectors, liquid sensors, the liquid sensors look quite cool um, give it a little uh, antenna and that will uh, detect whether you've got lava or water anywhere nearby so there, I'm not going to go into all the attachments, I'm just showing you the uh, the interface and how it works when you've got some of these uh, different attachments on and how you can interact with it. So there you go, if we were to throw some fuel in there now, the assemble button is ready to go. We click that and then this is going to, uh, oh that's actually 35 actually went very very quickly and maybe because I'm in creative mode that was really quick um, so there you go that's your uh, that's your car assembler and I think that was really quick because I'm in uh, in creative so maybe uh, maybe that wasn't such a good idea let's try another one without me being in creative mode uh, let's throw a, a shooter on there Like so, she no. There we go. There's the shooter. We can have a look. Um, see, we've got um, 
it will shoot in various directions. Let's take that engine out. We'll just uh, have a, have a cart like that by itself, and hopefully, yeah. As you see, that is actually taking a proper amount of time now. It's going to take a, a minute and a half to make. Quite a quick one, but there's only one thing on there, and as you can see, the uh, hull has disappeared from here, and all the attachments have gone as well. Um, and we won't see that again until it's finished and then it will pop out with a, a modular cart so there you go guys that's the cart assembler I hope that's made things a little bit more clear um, if you do find yourself with an attachment that has too high a modular cost it won't fit into certain holes so just bear that in mind if you're having a problem um, I'm thinking specifically the one that's coming to mind is these extracting chests. They have quite a high cost, so um, if you were to try and put those into there, you say uh, the cost is greater than the capacity of the hull, so we can't actually put those extracting chests into the wooden hull because it's just too big an attachment. So hopefully uh, you found that of use and please feel free if you've enjoyed this video to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it with your friends and please I I would really really like it if you could all uh, head over to Twitch every night when I'm streaming at 7 o'clock that would be great and also follow me on Twitter and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.